Ronnie from Event Skeptic here, and today I would like to silence the debunkers, globe earthers, who still believe that objects being obscured by the horizon is the result of curvature. This video will leave no doubt that you are living on a flat plane. As we seek for truth, we will all encounter skepticism, denial, deceivers, and those who lash out because they can't accept who the Creator truly is. This video is for the edification of the truth. It clearly demonstrates that objects leaving your position appear to disappear from the ground up. And objects approaching you in this reality appear from the sky down. In this reality, our vision is limited to what is called a horizon line. This line runs a 360 degree circle of sight completely around us at all times. The outer line marks the maximum distance of our field of view. And it is the boundary of our horizon line at 360 degrees all around us. These diagrams and observations are of a plain, flat view. At this part of the demonstration, the red and blue objects clearly can't see each other because their horizon lines haven't intersected. So from both perspectives, neither object can see each other because their field of view hasn't intersected. As the two objects, circle of sight, approach each other, their fields of view intersect. So in this simulation, we see the blue dot appearing to rise above our horizon. Yet we know that it is still partially blocked and lies beyond our actual horizon line. As the blue dot continues approaching the red dot, it appears to be rising at the horizon, but it's still perceived behind the horizon line. As soon as the blue object crosses the circle of sight or field of view of the red object, it then enters the field of view and crosses into the horizon line of the red object and becomes entirely visible. As the two objects align, their fields of view completely overlap. As the blue object moves further away from the red, it then begins to set on the opposite horizon until finally it completely disappears beyond the field of view. We'll see what an observer standing on a flat plane observes as a plane passes by. 
The field of view from the airplane is much larger because of its altitude. Due to the laws of perspective, the higher an object is, the greater its field of view becomes. Now, as the airplane approaches the observer, the fields of view intersect and the plane can be seen rising from the horizon top first. Due to perspective, the airplane rises visually but not physically as it approaches the observer until it is directly overhead. Due to perspective, the airplane will descend visually as it moves towards the opposite horizon. Once the plane exits the observer's field of view, due to perspective, it will visually set bottom first and disappear despite the plane never changing altitude. As an object gains altitude, its field of view increases significantly. The field of view from the airplane is much larger because of its altitude. If you were standing at position 1, you would be at the highest vantage point with the greatest field of view and you would be seen from the largest distance away. If you were standing at position 4, you will have a lower field of view and you can be seen from far less distance away. Thus, we can see the top of the tower and not the bottom as long as our field of view stays outside the marks 2, 3, and 4. This is plain observations that everyone can do. As an observer approaches the tower, it will be completely invisible until your field of view intersects with the tower's highest point and field of view. At each of these intersection points, due to your limited field of view from the ground, the tower will become visible from the top down until you reach the point where the entire tower is within your field of view. Similarly, as you move away from the tower and your field of view crosses the intersection marks, less and less of the tower will be observed disappearing from the bottom up until it's completely invisible once again. All objects at the horizon will always appear from the top down 
due to the laws of perspective in relation to your field of view. Likewise, as a ship sails away from your stationary field of view, it will appear to disappear from the bottom up the very same way stationary buildings appear from the top down when you're the object that's moving. Please stay tuned, tune in, and join in with Team Yahawashai. I'm giving a huge shout out to the one they call Disc Part Reality. Thank you. And to everyone else, please get involved. Tonight, 8 p.m. Central, Beyond Flat Earth. If you can't make it then, and you're listening to this in the future, the link is right here. Check out what we had to say. Please get involved. Now, at this point, the pylon has completely disappeared. There is no curvature between the observer, you, the horizon, a boat, a plane, and that pylon. No curvature. We live on a flat earth. And this is the part of the video that I ask you, get involved. Please share this video and help edify for the truth. We are Team show. <laughs> Truth is out. For all those with eyes to see and ears to hear, you heard. Peace, Peace. out. Thank you all so much.